You ever notice how using a controller on a computer feels like you're playing with a half second delay? It's like you press a button and your character's thinking like, hmm, maybe I'll jump, maybe I won't. That's where controller overclocking comes in. We're basically telling Windows, stop babysitting my controller and let it actually work how it's supposed to. It's completely free, it's simple, and no, you're not gonna fry your controller. Worst case, just turn it off and cry yourself to sleep like usual. But anyways, let's go ahead and shave down that delay and make your inputs feel instant. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the file we're using. I'm also gonna put it in my Discord though. That way it's really easy for you guys just to find and join. So join my Discord. It'll say YouTube tweaks here on the left. So click on that. At the bottom here, this one says keyboard optimization. Obviously this video isn't about a keyboard optimization. It's about a controller overclock. As soon as I post this video, there's gonna be a new file down here that says controller overclock.zip. So just download that one, put it on your desktop and extract it. Once you have it, go ahead and open it up. It's super easy to overclock your guys' controller. So I only have one file in here. Go ahead and open this up. I know there's a lot of things in here, but it's super easy. We only care about this one file down here that says setup. So go ahead and double click on that to open it up. Once it's open, it may be on mice by default, but we don't care about that, obviously. We just wanna go ahead and click on all. That way it shows all of our devices. I know there's a lot of devices in here, but we don't care about any of them except our controller. So what we're looking for is this one right here. You can see it's your controller because it says wireless controller right here. So by default, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna say filter no, rate default. And that's why your controller feels like crap. So we're gonna fix that using this software. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on the rate and then set it to its maximum value here. I do wanna point out that you do need your controller plugged into the USB 3.0 or 3.1 ports on your motherboard. Otherwise, if you're on an older motherboard, you don't have any new ports, then just set this to this maximum value. If you are playing on 8,000 and your game feels really stuttery, then it could be that you have an older CPU and it just can't handle this high polling rate. So you may wanna try manually setting this to 4,000, 2,000 or 1,000. Just go down slowly until it feels more stable for you. But otherwise, once you set it to 8,000 manually, click install service, click restart that may freeze your mouse and keyboard for a second but then once it's done loading it'll unfreeze then here where it says filter again make sure you're on the same row as your controller click filter check the box that says filter on device it'll switch it over to yes then click install service again click restart again that may freeze your components for just a second but then they'll come right back once you're done with that you're actually good to go it's literally that easy now you have a fully overcocked <laughs> almost said overcocked now you have a fully overclocked controller. I will mention one thing. If you switch the USB ports your controller is plugged into, then it is gonna get rid of this overclock and you're gonna have to redo it using the exact same steps. But if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you guys want a full optimization on your computer, Windows, BIOS, mouse, keyboard, controller, everything head to toe, book an optimization on my website, signs.net. If you did like this video, be sure to like it. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel for more optimization videos like this. Other than that though, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.